Okay, now I'm back again with another uh, audio settings, noise gate settings on OBS Studio test. Uh, <coughs> I didn't, although that matched the SM58 just right, uh, what I did, <coughs> I uh, don't, there's a little bit of staticky noise that the gate was cutting out, but it was also chopping off some of my, some of my beginning words. So I'm going to try to get a happy medium here. Let's get into the settings. Let's see the desktop, and I'll show you exactly where I was. I started, um, that's where it was when I started. <clears throat> it was at uh, closing, shutting down the signal completely at negative 32 dB, opening it up at negative 26. And at negative 26, when it was opening up a little late, so uh, I messed around with it, listened and did this, and I ended up with closing at 45 and opening it at 40 but now I'm hearing noise that I don't want and this is just me making screenshots through through it all and through me watching my video and everything <clears throat> um, make sure I had a record of it alright so I'm going to um, get on the little pill I'm going to adjust the SM58 this time it sounds okay I don't hear that uh, low end rumble or anything so I'm going to get into the filter, just click on the gear and go into the filters, or you can uh, right-click on the gear and it does the same thing. Oh yeah, and I want to get into the advanced properties, so that in case, I might go ahead and try using the monitor again, turning it on and off. Uh, careful, you'll drag, last, one time I, last time I accidentally dragged the, the bot my window and that messes up my video. So it does have all six uh, tracks selected, but there's nothing on. Uh, I'll actually figure it out by watching my video back. The lapel mic only has sound on track one. I think maybe, actually I don't think I ever deselected on the mic aux. I didn't deselect one and two. I guess I could do that to find out. But that's a sidetrack, so maybe I'll do that before I quit if I remember. <clears throat> but what I do want to do is... Uh, Listen to this lapel mic again. Let's listen to it one more time. Oh, I better uh, turn that sound down. I bet it's turned up from when I was watching, listening to, watching my video. Okay, now, now let's, let's check, check what, what it sounds like. like. I, I do hear, hear it. Okay, okay now, now let's, let's mute, mute the uh, uh, desktop audio so we won't get an. Oh, it's just turned down real low. Okay, check. Hello, check. Check. Hey. Check. Hey. Check. Check. Hey, Don here. Hello, Don here. Hello, check. Hey. That static may not <clears throat> go away, period, but we'll try. Okay, now, um, what did I say I wanted? After looking at my screenshots, I decided that, uh, okay, everything below 32 was being cut off. It was opening in at 26, so I'm gonna. I'm going to cut off. The cutoff point can be the same as long as. Let's see. <clears throat> you gotta. I, I, it's backwards, you know. It's negative numbers, so I have to think. I, can, I really have to look at the scale. <laughs> So if it's cutting everything off at 32, it's actually good. That If I can leave that, I'll leave it. Okay, and then uh, everything at... Oh, I'm looking at the screenshot. I was like, where's my signal? It's gone. Oh, well, let's go look at the... Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to try first leaving it everything below 32 cut off because that was good to get rid of the noise. And then I just, it's just opening a little late. So I want it to open at 30, I guess. Let's see. Let's see if that's the right direction. Okay, so everything below. Yeah, 32. Okay, 32 is louder. 26 is. Yeah, okay. So if I change it from... I was thinking about going to everything below 35 to be cut off. And I could try that. And I was going to say... OK, 
Okay, I want it to open. I'm going to leave that where it is. That's a wide enough spread. I'll leave the... Everything below 32 will be cut off. I guess I can do that first. Let's see. Oh, no, that won't work. Okay. <clears throat> so I want to go to a smaller negative number. Yeah. When I get on the scale, it makes sense to me. When I just try to think of it ab abstractly in my head, I get turned around. Okay, so let's go ahead and do 32. I don't know what it'll do to the signal, but... Well, check one, two. It probably just makes it not work. Okay, now 26 is where we were. And most of the time, you didn't even notice it. Hello, this is Dawn. Okay, mo it was just when I was talking normally in a video, and, or during a video check, I think it was, but that I uh, <clears throat> noticed it. Now let's get S&P data out of my face here. Okay, uh, I think I'll do one on desktop so that you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm on the USB. So glad I checked. I missed my click. There we go. Now we're in the right place. Now, um, won't really be able to read the numbers probably, but I don't know. Wrong. Number two in the hardest time. What I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, I've got my my uh, windows are open up in front of my preview, so I couldn't see uh, what I was getting. Okay, um, so I'm on the lapel mic here, and um, now we're at 26, and what I want to do is uh, for, that's later. Yeah, I don't want it later. I want it earlier. It's at 26, 28, 29. I'm just not sure, you know, you're really just guessing. So let's try 28 and then I'll try listening to it and see if I can tell. Box two, okay, check one, two. Hello, hey, hello. Hey, check one, two. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hey, one, two. Now let's see what happens if I go 30. Yeah, we wouldn't go any closer than 30, I don't think. Hey, check one, two. Hello, check. All right, now, I think I hear noise again. Yep. Hello? Check one, two. Hello? Check one, two. Check one, two. Check. Hello? I hear the noise again. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe that they're just uh, picking up noise. Could even be me just breathing and moving, you know. Hello, check one, two, check one, two. I don't know how much a little, a decibel, these are measured in decibels. I don't know how much difference that would make. I would think one decibel wouldn't be enough. Check one, two. I'm not getting rid of that noise, though. I'm not moving, per se, but this mic didn't do that when it was plugged into the phone, so I didn't hear crackling. Uh, it could be my gain. Uh, I'm going to leave it just like it is so I can hear it. The gain, then the mic still. And I've got the SM58 right where I want. There it is. Now here's my settings. I made the echo get worse. Okay. Input. The uh, analog adapter. Okay, let's turn that off because of that one. When the monitor's off, I can't hear it myself, but it gives a good recording. It's what's really happening because whenever that echo starts going on, uh, it ruins the recording where I can't really tell if I'm making headway or not. Yeah, there's where I have the gain, and I'm thinking maybe that's the uh, thing causing my trouble. 
Getting the desktop now. Okay, so I'm going to turn on. You saw me bringing up the SM58. I'm going to turn it on now. All right, now we got them both on. See, they're so close now. And the peaks and the little black line, that's kind of, I'm going to say that I'm pretty sure that's the median of my, my audio signals. Now they're close. The volumes are really close. There's a perceived volume thing that you get, you know, with different EQs. So that's actually how the, uh, the TV broadcasters get around. You know, there's a decibel level by law that how loud they can get on the commercials. You know, they still blow your head off. Well, that's because of what they call perceived loudness. And it's the way they EQ it so that it sounds louder to you, even though the measured decibel levels are within, you know, they're, they're not more than the maximum allowed. And, of course, for a TV show or a movie, they're going to mix it to what works best, what sounds the best, you know. And, of course, on movies, I don't know why they always... TV shows seem to do so much better about having the audio you can understand, you know. Well, unless it's an action TV show, it might be the same problem. But it used to be the opposite. But now movies, you can't understand half what they're saying. And TV shows, you can understand most. So anyway, that's my grab. <clears throat> but... Uh, Everything is um, good on the on the matching the levels and everything. I like that. I don't like static though. Really don't like that at all. But so I'm not going to change the uh, gain. Might get rid of it, but I think it's that little telltale static. These mics weren't doing that, so you know if you had something wrong with your mic, it would do. It might do that, but. Uh, of course, it could be this uh, USB sound card. I hardly ever use them for... Uh, I only really bought them to use for outputs on my laptop that had a blown chip on the... My Dell 6000 that had a blown chip on the output, the audio output. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> so the mic inputs I've only played with a little bit here and there. So it could be that. It could just not be that great of a little, you know, uh, great of a... a um, Equipment. I will move the. Uh, it's plugged in good. Push them. <clears throat> now let me listen to them again. Um, all right. Now what do we got? Okay. Check one, two. Check, check, check. Hello, check. Hello, check. Check. I don't hear the static now. Okay. I'm gonna leave it there. I think it's going to just come and go is what I think is going to Okay, so the um, there is one other thing I wanted to do. I think I'll demonstrate that right now. Okay, let me turn on the uh, output on the lapel. That's what I'm using right now. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. See, I'm deselecting all these extra tracks. Check one, two. Check, check one, two. You know, that might be the wisest thing to do. Uh, check one. Yeah, I noticed in the recording you weren't hearing me. I can hear myself, but you weren't hearing me because I'm. I guess I'm monitoring, monitoring the signal when I do this. So you weren't hearing me. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's what happened when I did this before. Um. Okay. Yeah. So you only have to. You can't do, you won't know what you're doing, but but what I figured out was uh, there is no signal on any of the other channels with this uh, USB sound card in the lapel mic. And let's see, now let's switch, switch to, to the, the SM58. Now, I don't think, check one, two, hello, check, okay. Now I'm gonna just deselect them all. Now what I did last time is only go down to here but now, if I take that one out, it should take out one side. And if I take Put that one back, and it should be both sides. And um, it's really... But it doesn't make any noise at all in the SM58, so... Um, now I'm back on the lapel. monitor the lapel so I can hear if that crackling seems to come back when I turn those check one hello check 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 I don't hear it now 
So I think it's, if it stays gone, oops. I left the monitoring. If it stays gone, then we'll be good. And I'm worried about not knowing exactly how the audio routes, so I'm going to leave them on. If they don't hurt anything, I'd rather have all the check tracks, you know, turned on. Um, so we'll get back on the SM58, because that's what I'm going to use most of the time. <clears throat> the lapel is my backup mic, and if I need to move around, I can move. I got a 16, e even though it's not wireless anymore, because it's not on one of the phones, I can still got 16 foot cable, so I can move around with it on. So um, now let's see how that. I'm going to go listen back and see how that works, and uh, maybe we'll be good after this. All right. Where's the stop button? Oh, there it is.